Welcome to Pelican Sound. I'm Larry Fiesel. I'm a member of the team that's overseeing the construction of the River Club project. I'm with Eric Long, our general manager. This morning we had another meeting with the design team, the architect, and the interior people to go over the final design of uh, what we want this club to look like. The drawings on both parts will be finished later today or in the morning and be forwarded to Envirostruck in the very near future, hopefully tomorrow so that we can move forward with the next phase, which would be getting a, a budget estimate of what all this is going to cost. We do this on a weekly basis so we can keep the project moving along in a timely manner. And at this point, I'll give it over to Eric and he can give you an update on what we've done uh, on the interior, the fitness center, bocce center, and so forth. Thanks, Larry. Uh, yeah, just a couple other things on the uh, River Club uh, project. Uh, we are um, going to be working on renderings, so hopefully within the next uh, few weeks we'll be able to show some of the things that we're looking at. Uh, the first, obviously, initial task is obviously looking at the uh, cost associated and making sure that all works out before we uh, start putting out renderings. So that will be coming uh, down the road, so please look forward to that in the near future. Uh, but I'm going to touch first on what we are, where we are on the fitness center. So uh, we are moving along. Obviously, there has been some hiccups here and there. But just uh, talking on some mitigation efforts, the uh, team has been looking at ways to uh, mitigate storm surge in the future. So just talking on the front door of the entry, and this will also be on the River Club down the road, uh, there's a product called Floodgate, which puts a, a flood barrier uh, in front of the door. So if we had storm surge, uh, that would not impede into the uh, inside of the building unless it's obviously a very ca catastrophic uh, storm. Uh, but I want to take you inside the building and kind of give you the timeline of where things are and where we're going to be in the next uh, few weeks. So we're just right inside the fitness center. Uh, you can see that the walls are uh, have the first coat of paint on there. Uh, this uh, entry color is called March Wind. And then the other portions of the, the building, it's called the uh, rhinestone, which is kind of a, a light, light blue color. And uh, we're moving forward with that. All the drywall has been uh, completed, level five finish, and they have finished uh, at least the first coat of paint. They have till Saturday to complete the final coat of paint before we start getting flooring in. Just want to mention uh, the elevator. We are waiting on a few more parts to get, uh, to start the uh, replacement of the items that we need for the elevator. Just to, so you understand, uh, as far as the insurance policy, uh, insurances do not cover the elevator. So this is an item that uh, there are expenses involved in that and we're working forward on this, but uh, we hope to have this elevator completed um, by February. Um, all this is contingent on the uh, parts. Uh, we have had three of the items. We need about 22 of the items to complete this project. So. We're hoping that we get all the uh, components so we can complete that. But moving forward, um, we do have uh, scheduled on uh, Monday through uh, Wednesday, they're going to start doing the flooring. So it's rubberized flooring in here. So it's kind of a black uh, speckled color. And then when we get into the studio, so we're right inside the studio. As you can see, uh, we did float the floor uh, yesterday. Uh, the product's called a Procrete, and it kind of levels the floor. We had a lot of imperfections in the floor. So in order to put the laminate flooring, uh, it's kind of a wood uh, look. Uh, that's coming in on Monday. We had to float the floor, so it's all ready to go for the install of our laminate flooring. Uh, they have had a first primer coat in this area. Uh, we did replace some of the ceiling tiles in there. Uh, we did have an issue with some of the moisture uh, from the HVAC. All that has been replaced now, so there is no issue with our roof uh, whatsoever, but uh, we have replaced all those ceiling tiles. Uh, we do have larger fans coming in here. That was a big request. Uh, those are coming in uh, right after the flooring, so we'll start seeing some of those uh, new components coming in within the next week. Uh, I'll show you some other areas. <music> Space. This is where all the cardio equipment is going to be placed. Uh, so again, I get the flooring. This is a rubberized flooring that will start on Monday. Should be completed by Thursday. Uh, on Friday, they'll start putting in all the electrical outlets and replacing on that. And uh, the equipment is starting to come in on the 16th. So hopefully, 
we can get uh, most of the equipment. Most of the cardio is in. There are some strength items that we're still waiting on. Uh, the spin bikes, it looks like at the end of the month, but we're hoping that we have the gym completed by the end of the month. So starting hopefully by February 1st, we'll be able to open the space. Again, this is all contingent on all the trades uh, showing up and making sure that all the product is here so we can start doing uh, all the items that need to be completed. So hope to have that done. Again, we hope to have this open by uh, beginning of February and that's uh, our best case scenario. So just touching, uh, we're in the uh, bathroom. Uh, that uh, work will start on the flooring. Again, the same time frame. this is gonna be a tile floor. That will be installed uh, again Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And hopefully uh, we can start putting in some of the uh, bathroom accessories like the uh, mirrors. We are replacing the lighting as well. And then also the backsplash uh, for the uh, vanity will be coming in very soon. So hopefully we'll get that done within the next two weeks. So we're outside the fitness center located where the, all the HVAC equipment. Uh, like I mentioned before, we are uh, elevated the uh, equipment 27 inches above the floor. Uh, I did want to mention from an HVAC perspective that uh, code required us to replace the air handler and condenser, but from an insurance perspective, the only thing that was uh, covered under the storm policy is anything that is touched by water. So the, the units outside are the only thing that are covered. Anything on the inside, unfortunately, are not covered on the insurance, but uh, obviously we're working through all those cost estimates and hopefully... Uh, we have uh, not too many of these items that are above and beyond what is covered under our insurance policy. So we're located at the uh, boat launch here. The member dock uh, is going to be built uh, starting next week. Uh, we hope uh, that it will be completed the week of the 16th. Uh, so this area will be open by then. So obviously the boat ramp is still in operations. We just have uh, to do the uh, member dock, which is going to start uh, next week. So. Looking forward to this amenity uh, being completed. Uh, we have made the repairs to the kayak uh, launch area. You are able to use the kayaks uh, at your leisure and uh, looking forward to all the openings of all of our amenities. So we've had some questions about the boat shuttle and when will that be open. Uh, we're still waiting with the vendor. Uh, it's obviously still not safe to go to uh, Lover's Key at this point in time and they don't have a proper way to storage uh, their uh, boat. So we're working through that right now, and at this point in time, it's kind of a wait and see, and especially uh, just kind of seeing where we are with uh, the beach access. So uh, once we find out more information, uh, we'll inform you in the near future. So we're located at the fish cleaning station and the ice machine over here. Uh, right now, our team is uh, building a new structure to uh, cover the ice machine. Uh, we, do, we do have the order of uh, the equipment for the uh, fish cleaning station, just waiting on those parts. Hope to have that completed by the end of the month, but we hope to have this covered area for the ice machine hopefully done uh, by next week. So we're located at the River Club pool. Uh, that's a sound of progress you can hear. Uh, so you can see that they've uh, completed the coping around the pool area. They're going to start pebbling on Saturday. It's going to take about a week to complete that. So we hope to have the pool area open most likely the same time that we're opening the fitness center. So we're hoping our goal is uh, February 1st right now. Obviously this is all con contingent on all the items and hopefully uh, we don't have any weather delays. But uh, it's starting to look pretty good and uh, all the equipment is mostly completed. There's still some final tuning that needs to be completed. But uh, we're working forward and I want to kind of mention the island sound so we'll take a look over there now. So we're located at the Island Sound Pool. You can see that we brought the uh, water up to the level. Uh, we are starting to balance the uh, chemicals in the pool area. Uh, we are missing one component. Uh, there's an impeller for the uh, one of the pumps. Uh, that's one of our delays right now. So we're hoping to have that uh, completed in the next couple weeks. Um, hopefully before the end of the month. Um, that's our kind of our new timeline but we uh, are just delayed on one of the pieces uh, to really get this thing working uh, efficiently. So uh, we, are, uh, we did make one patch uh, to the area that we needed to do, uh, but all is well, and uh, thank you very much for your patience. Uh, we're working very diligently on trying to complete all the tasks that need to be done. We're located where the kitty playground is and the uh, sports court. Uh, we have ordered a new uh, Tucci umbrella uh, shade area for that area. We'll replace that awning 
Um, obviously, we'll wait till after season before we put that in. And then as far as the kitty playground, we are placing the order very soon. Um, but the lead times, what I'm seeing, they're anywhere from 16 to 18 weeks. So the likelihood that we'll have the kitty playground open uh, with in this uh, January through April time frame is very unlikely. So uh, this is most likely will be installed during the summer. So I just wanted to manage your expectations on when things are kind of coming along. So we're located at the bocce courts. Uh, on my last video, we did say that we did resurface the courts. Uh, we did put some temporary awnings up right now. Uh, we have put the order in for brand new uh, Tucci umbrellas that are cantilever style. The size is a 10 by 14, so there'll be six on either side. It's gonna be a really cool look for the area. And then really this is gonna help for mitigation efforts uh, for hurricanes in the future. Uh, we won't have to deal with those uh, existing awnings. Uh, we will have uh, fans as well um, and working forward on ordering those as well. And uh, obviously uh, we'll wait to install those until after uh, April time frame on the umbrellas, but we have put the order in now. And as far as uh, what we're working on outside of the courts, uh, we're working on the drainage. Really uh, it was impacted by the storm surge and uh, it was compromised and we had to replace. So you can see the guys are working right now and we hope to have this completed uh, uh, before Monday. So they're working on Saturday as well, uh, but replacing all the drainage. So when we have those hard rains, uh, this would be uh, really uh, well drained for the future. So thank you very much and uh, happy new year.